Welcome back, baseball fans, to the Winter Baseball Classic. One more semifinal match, then we have the championship. We have a series between number three, Athens, and number two, Missoula, and it has been all Athens GA. Won two games in Missoula, then came home to the red clay of Georgia and smacked Missoula again. 12 to 2, game 3. And they are up 3 0. Two games here to get an elimination. If not, fly back to Missoula and do it there is the goal. Uh, Missoula would like to win a baseball game and do some continued scouting on players as we do with the Winter Baseball Classic. Today's starting pitchers Jim Hannon, a Washington Senator who's a starter five. He was a starter six or seven. I think he'd have a better chance of making it in the summer league. I don't like starter fives. And for Athens, it'll be Al Santorini, one of the charter members of the San Diego Padres expansion of 69. He did okay um, for them, ERA under four. That, that Padre expansion team was more pitching than it was hitting. And so Santorini, Santorini gets the benefit of the doubt. He's got a decent chance of getting into the summer league. All right, leading off for Missoula, they restructured their lineup. They shuffled the whole thing up because they had scored virtually nothing through three games. So the lineup looks different than the previous Missoula lineups you saw. Merv Retman gets a shot leading off. And he bounces to third. Mike Fiore now batting second. Sky's the center. And Buddy Bradford plugged into the three hole. Triple one to five single off of Santorini. That's a triple. Alex Johnson. One eight. Rolls a third. Bottom of one, Jimmy Hall, 34, first. Becker, 2-4, pops out, too short. And Ed Cranepool, 47's a walk. Alkaline, 1-7's a single on the right field. Cranepool holds a second. For Bob Bailey, 6-10. Homer, 1-7 off the Hannon card, and he misses it. That would have been huge, but he missed it. And we are scoreless. John Briggs, 39, rolls a second. Tony Taylor, 1-8, is a walk. Elrod, 56, short X. This is Eddie Leone, 3-E42 at short with the ground ball C. And a runner second, two outs. Jim O'Flay flies in the center. This is Don Young. He's a 3-E10 in center field. And he gets the fly ball A. Bottom of two, Van Kelly, 39, second. Eddie Leone, 1 3, flies to right. Tom Satriano, pitcher X, E0. And nothing going there. Top of the third, Don Mason, 1 6, second. Merv Rettman, 1 12, pitcher. Fiore, 5 10, Homer, 1 3, double. Fiore, off the Santorini card, rolls the one, gets the solo homer, and Missoula's on the board. Buddy Bradford, double one to 17, and he gets a single. Alex Johnson, 5-10, homer one to eight, double, and all of a sudden, here comes Missoula, they've woken up. Rolls a three, two homers off the Santorini card, that can't be good. Three nothing, Johnny Briggs, okay. Does Athens have an answer? Don Young, 58, pops a third. Jimmy Hall, 66, walks. Glenn Beckert, 67, Ks. Ed Cranepool, 58, pops a short. We go to the fourth, Tony Taylor, 610, catcher's card. This is Satriano, 47. Elrod Hendricks, 1 4, right. And Lafay, 66, left. Bomb of four, Alkaline, 38. Pops the, pops the second. Bob Bailey, 2 5, short. Van Kelly, 47, walk. Eddie Leone, 1 4, short. I don't think we've seen an on base on a hitter's card yet. It's all, any and every on base has been off the pitchers. In a 3 nothing game. Don Mason, 3 10, flies all right. Rutman, 1 4, third. And Fiore. Alright, 
Satriano, 610. Off the Hannon card. Homer, if you've got power. Satriano, unfortunately, does not. That's a single. Don Young, 47, is a walk. And Hannon is a starter five, trying to qualify for a win, but about to break. Jimmy Hall, two on, nobody out. 69. Homer, 1 to 11 fly ball, and he rolls a 12 and misses the three run homer as it settles on the warning track. Well, that's a shock, shame. What a tie the game. Becker, 1 4, that is a 6 4 3 to old play. So, five, by a single 5% roll over here, we are not tied at 3. Buddy Bradford, 49, 1 to 17 single. Alex Johnson, 45, center. John Briggs, 6'10", third X. This is Bob Bailey's with 40, 23, a third. That can't be good. Single. Runs with the corners for Tony Taylor, 1'7", single, 1'5". He lines out. And with two outs, Elrod Hendricks, 65, center. All the action is on the pitcher's cards today. No reason to show any cards. Bottom of the six. Ed Cranepool, briskly played game. Rolls to first. Alkaline 410, short X, again, 3E48 at short makes the play. Bob Bailey 1-4 left. 3 nothing in the seventh and one of the quickest games ever played. <laughs> Jim LaFay, 412 right. Don Mason 57 Ks. And Rettman, 312 left. Stretch time in Athens, down three zip. Oh, you know what? Missoula actually has some defense to bring in. Trzuski will come into play short, and Mason will go to second. And there you go. That'll be the only move they make. Bottom of seven, Jim Hannon. Six shutout innings. Uh, we are in the seventh inning stretch music. You're listening to REM's Dead Letter Office, the collection of B-sides and various alternate takes and whatnot from 87. Anyway, bottom of seven here. Van Kelly leads it off. 65, second X. This is the new second baseman, Don Mason. It's kind of an all or nothing. He's a 2E41. He can get to the guy, but when, he can get to the ball, but when he gets there, good luck on that throw to first base. Makes the play. Eddie Leone, 65, second X, again. This time it's a single, I don't have to roll. Still haven't done, gotten a hit off the hitter's card yet. Satriano, 1-9. Hey, let's look at a guy. All right, here's a little known Tom Satriano. Not much to see here, but look, he, he draws a lot of walks, and that's exactly what he did here, because his team needs base runners. Way to take one for the team there, Tom. Two on, one out. It's Don Young, who had a three-hit game earlier in this series, looking for another big hit here. Hannon, his team's bullpen's pretty shaky until you get to the locker. And he's throwing a shutout, and he's not quite in danger of breaking unless this guy gets on. So he'll pitch to Don Young. 1-7 is a K. And with two outs, he'll pitch to Jimmy Hall. 66, Jimmy Hall walks. That breaks him, and it's Beckert. And they're going to hook him after six and two-thirds shutout innings. Because he could lose. Well, he could give the tie and runs. Hannon will leave. It's too, a little bit too early for a locker. They're going to go Don Shaw. Becker does not have power, so there's no danger of giving up a grand slam here. Don Shaw, take a look at him in the seventh against Glenn Beckert with the bases loaded and two outs. Beckert, 32, pops to third base. They get nothing again. Santorini, oh, he's still plugging away. Fiore, 64, catcher's card. Satiano's a 47, one out. Buddy Bradford, 47, is a K. And Alex Johnson, 68, is a single. Johnny Briggs, 4'11", right X. Right fielder is K-line, a 2'11", and right field makes the catch. All right. Six outs to go in a 3-0 game. Cranepool will have to leave. 
This will be Davenport as the pinch hitter. Let's take a look at him. Not a whole lot here either. Uh, Davenport, nice glove though. Jim Davenport, two, three, lines a third. Alkaline, one, five. Let's took it. take a look at Al. He's already in the summer league with a better card in, uh, in 1970. And boy, he really matches lefties with this one though, doesn't he? That is a solo home run, and we have a 3-1 game. Bob Bailey. 5-10 is a walk. And it's Van Kelly, the lefty, who has to play because the other left-handed players on the team just are worse than him. So Van Kelly bats here. 67 is a K. A man on and two outs, and it's Eddie Leone who has power. 66, guy the center field. Do we leave Santorini in the ninth inning for us to take him out? Get somebody else in there. Joe Horner will come on in the ninth. Horner, the lefty, is in the summer league. So don't have to worry about this card at all. Tony Taylor, 32, pops out. Batting for Elrod Hendricks. The other catcher. Let's take a look at the other catcher, Raul Ca Paul Casanova. Because he's got a minus two arm. And he can hit lefties okay with power. So... I know it's not glamorous, but he could get himself into the league because he's got a minus two arm. So here's Casanova. He of the 216 batting average. 110, single one at 12, and he gets it. That's a good sign. Dick Trzuski. Let's take a look at him. Just because, well, just because. Uh, yeah, he's a two in a couple infield positions, and a three. And he hit 139, folks. A 139 hitter, that would be, uh, yeah, pretty bad to get him in the league with a batting average like that. But we like the walks. So let's see if he can draw one here. 66 off the Horner card is short X. This is Leon again. A 3E42. Ground ball B. And with two outs, it's Don Mason. 64, center X. This is Don Young's a 3E10 in center field. He makes the catch, and uh, Missoula get, has a 3-1 lead going into the bottom of the ninth, trying to avoid elimination. All three of the runs off the Santorini card way back in the third inning. That has been it. K-Line has a homer off his card, and Shaw goes an inning in the third. They're going to turn this thing over to Bob Locker in the ninth. Lockers in the Summer League with a 71 card in the Oakland A's. And it'll be Satriano again. We need another one of those walks, Tom, if you can get it. Get it. 39, single, clean, single, dot, dot, even. And, uh, yeah, Satriano is two for three with a walk for the left-handed hitting catcher. Don Young, the tie run. He's got power both ways. Don Young, the pitch to Don. 49, nine's the first. Jimmy Hall, who has power. 2-7 for Jimmy. Single on a 1. Oh my goodness. Let's take a look at the card. Yep. At first glance, you're thinking this guy might be good. And then, oh, wait a minute. Let's fly ball the rest and line out the rest. So you take a 5 and a 7 off this card. And now suddenly it hits 225. That's, that's a big oversight. But 2-7, single on a 1. Line to second base. And the Charmed Athens team gets another huge break with a single here. And the tie runs are on board. And it's Glenn Beckert who hit a grand total of one homer and 543 at-bats. It was against the lefty. Two on, one out. Beckert, 59. Second C, they're in scoring position for Jim Davenport. A chance to tie the game with a single dot dot. Second and third, two outs, the pitch to Davenport. 1-7, Homer won the five to walk it off, fly ball the rest, and he flies to rest. He went for the walk off instead of the single, and he almost did it, folks. One to five, would have been a clean sweep for Athens. Let's look at Davenport's card again there. Fly ball the rest on a nine. I would say they're just, just not that good. That's because he hits 241 with two homers and 300 at bats without power. And you're going to get that result 75% uh, of the time, actually. So, 
Locker gets the save. Missoula avoids the sweep. I've got to still continue to play more baseball here to determine the finalist. Though it appears Athens has a huge advantage, being up three games to one now. Let's take a look at the box for both squads. Corner gave up a hit in the ninth. Santorini pitched decently, but all those runs are off his own card, so it's all his own doing there. It's not a good sign. Locker gets a shaky save, two hits, and a ball on the warning track. Not to mention Jimmy Hall also hit one on the warning track. We could have had a couple three-run homers in this game. Don Shaw came on in. Inning in the third innings, he gives up a solo home run, a walk and a K. Hannon does get the win, giving up just three hits. He didn't give up any runs, but a lot of walks, six walks and two strikeouts. Still not sure about Hannon's future. 1019, 0109, 3816, 1473. That was a game for, let's see what the box says. And we move these teams forward. Missoula certainly has struggled. And they struggled in that game, but still got a win. That's only their 10th win, and they're already in the semis. One of the least impressive Final Four teams we've seen. And so Athens brings a 13-5 record into Game 5, hitting 269 with a 283 ERA. Again, they've got four capable relievers, Fingers, McGraw, Abernathy, and Horner. That should help them in a close game. They didn't need it in that game, though. They needed offense. They didn't get any. 13-5. Missoula just won their 10th game. And Missoula finds themselves 10-6. Hitting 263 with a 377 ERA. Um, they got some interesting starting pitching there. Their leading hitter, I guess, is Mike Fiore, who's 22 for 70. What that's worth. 314 for Fiore. Trying to get a part time roll. Didn't get to show a lot of cards in that game, unfortunately, because they didn't do anything on their cards. So I'll have to finish this series, and when we get uh, at the end of this video, you'll see the team that got eliminated. What happened? Did uh, Missoula, who was trailing three games to nothing, winners of game four that you just saw, did they win the last three games? Yes, they did. They knocked Athens out. They won four straight games, knocking Athens out incredulously. And it uh, they finished 13-6. and six. Does Missoula and uh, Savannah 15 and 7? Savannah and that Missoula in the finals. And then when we look over a little bit, I don't think we can get it on the screen at the same time, but anyway. And anyway, the point of this is to show you the cards that are gone out of Athens. We'll start with Ted Abernathy. Uh, his card will get into the league, uh, he's got a couple different years that he can choose from here. This might be the one we picked though. Joe Horn is already in the league for either the Phillies or the Dodgers. Britton uh, was making a strong case to get into the league as a starter, but those walks finally caught up to him in a Game 7 loss. Also, this triple 1-2 double got hit two or three times in a Game 7 with runners on base with a walk. That combination is lethal. Didn't roll that double one to two fly ball or single one eight line out or single one to two line out or homer one to five fly out. Those all would be useful rolls to keep this guy, uh, make him successful. He might get into the league. Uh, I think he will actually. I mean, I, he just had a rough start there. Santorini, uh, you saw him in the in the game. Um, he's okay. He might get into the league. Raleigh Fingers already in the league, I think. Oh no, he's protected by the Oakland A's. But we think Oakland, um, going into the Oakland dynasty of the early 70s, we think we're go he, they're going to skip this year and go to a better year. Roland is already in the league on Las Vegas. Though it's a good, it might be a good opportunity to improve this guy because he is a starter seven, relief starter seven. He really pitched well the entire series. 
Milt Pappas has a good year in 72 for the Cubs. Not really this year. And then uh, Tub McGraw. Um, 69, 70, 71, or 72 are the choices here. I'm not sure if this year is the best year for McGraw. It could be one of the other ones for the Mets. Uh, the Mets have his card, I believe, his 70 card. Uh, Don Young, his career is coming to an end. But actually... This is a pretty neat card. It had some big games. Uh, power both ways. A 3-0-E-10 is not horrible. The walks are nice. Don't think a 239 hitting center fielder has a big shelf life unless it's part of a platoon. You don't typically see platoons in center field very often. Uh, Van Kelly, left-handed hitting infielder. Doesn't play short, which hurts. Has power. Uh, e rating a third is decent. Uh, if he were forced in a situation where he had to play against lefties, he gets on base. Probably not. Probably not. But again, teams looking for left-handed pitching and left-handed left -handed hitting infielders are two options. Eddie Leon just did not like the defense, only at short and not very good. That was a, more of a liability in that series. The fact that he has power both ways for a shortstop in this era is nice, but homer one and two fly ball is not good. I just don't think it's going to work. A 239 hitter, yes, he has power at short, but that's not much more than that. All right, some more guys i got to turn over here. Uh, Crane Pool is already in the league, I believe, with the Mets. Jimmy Hall, just, that's killer. Won't fly ball the rest, line out the rest. B Steeler's nice, but there's just not enough hits here. Satriano, again, nice walks, but nothing else. A left-handed hitting catcher is nice and with the walks, but he doesn't have power, and he's just got a zero arm, which is okay. If you want a catcher who can play some second base for you, that's nice, I suppose. Though I don't know how... Yeah, that's kind of weird. Beckert's already in the league. Ellie Rodriguez is normally an on-base machine. He'll have some better years coming up, I believe, in 72. Davenport gives you good defense at third. That's, he's certainly an option, but he has no power. Has one base against lefties. Defensive third is the reason you draft him. Swoboda's already in the league with Kansas City via the Met trade with Amos Otis and so forth, I think. Uh, K-Line is already in the league, of course, with the Tigers. Bob Bailey in the league for the Expos. And that'll wrap up the end of the Athens season here. And we'll have Savannah at Missoula That'll be your WBC Championship. We'll see you next time.